Hi, I'm Kim Wilson. And I'm Natasha Marchevka. And this is Speechless. Speechless. Welcome to our behind the scenes take of Real Life in VO, where we share our stories, our resources, and our unsolicited opinions. Welcome. And today we are interviewing somebody special Elaine Craig, casting director in LA. And we've been waiting for four months to, to interview her. But because we're both coached by her, she came through for us. We're so thrilled. <laughs> Not like the old LA, yeah, I'll get back to you. No. <laughs> She got back to us. This amazing businesswoman is yeah. has been casting forever and knows up to the minute info about casting. Mm -hmm. So her very first project, I don't know if you knew this, Kim, as a casting director, was yeah. for an animated episode of Steven Spielberg's Amazing oh. Stories, directed by Brad Bird. Yeah. Same. So, so she continues to cast for the industry's premier production companies and ad agencies. Wow. She's also recognized as one of the voiceover industry's top coaches. And we can attest to that. We learn we so much. She's and down to earth and lovely. We just love everything about her. So listen to this interview. Don't forget, we have a website, speechlessvo.com. So if you want the takeaways from the show, the resources and the drink recipes, of course, you need to be on our newsletter. It comes out every Monday, four days before the actual show premieres. So get on our list from there. You can also see resources on that website. Yes. We have sponsors. <laughs> a word from our sponsors. Speechless is brought to you by Voice Overview, the business tracking and management platform created by voice actors for voice actors. Voice Overview has all the tracking metrics you need to help manage your voiceover business. Track earnings over time, Invoice directly through top invoicing platforms. Gain insight into your booking strengths. Build and maintain relationships with top clients. And grow your business by managing prospects and leads. Track expenses, tax prep, and more. All in a simple-to-use platform. Check it out at voiceoverview.com. See the show notes for a link to get 30 days free. Positron is the technology busy voice talent need. It literally cut our editing time in half. Positron overlays your script to your voiceover to ensure script accuracy. In moments, you'll discover pickups or a perfect read. Upload your script, upload your audio, and Positron does the rest. For audiobook proofing, this is a must. For e-learning and long-form narration, even one page of script, this process couldn't be easier. Positron ensures your narration is word perfect, so you can focus on your performance and delivery. Check out Positron.com or email hello at Positron.com for a free product demo. Oh, that's your Euphoria. secret. Euphoria. I love it. I, love it. Yeah. I, I know someone that tried that and she was like, so oh, yeah. Oh, really? It's my new thing. I just have to be careful not to drink it too, too late at night, you know, because it does keep you up. It does have a bit of a buzz. Oh, I want to try like, you know, it. Coffee, you know, you're getting caffeine. Oh, you're yeah. That's like, this is, I'm drinking a cup of caffeine. With yeah. this stuff, it just feels like you're drinking soda or something. You don't think about it. So it's, yeah, it's great. I love it. What have you got? This is a rhubarb mojito. Oh, it's fancy. delicious. I know Ooh. it's fancy. I got to do it up for the show. Every, yeah. every week I'm like, what am I going to make? <laughs> I'm going the healthy route and I'm going to show you the only green tea that I like because I'm not a fan of green tea or matcha. Okay. Green tea kom kom kombucha. Oh, yeah. And I, I, looked at, <laughs> I looked at the ingredients and now I know why I like it. So it's green tea and then lemongrass, spearmint, and then dried kombucha, which is just fermented black tea plus passion fruit and plum. It's the only green tea that I will drink because plus there's like because a little. Because it's not really green tea. It's not really green tea. <laughs> oh, cheers to um, that. Cheers. cheers. Love that. Thanks Love for it. being on here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We've only been pressuring Elaine for, I don't know, four months. <laughs> you know, I don't do this for anybody. I'm doing it for you. Oh, I know. You I, feel, I oh. do yeah. really feel like. Yeah, we are so see. So good. There's two of us, so it's the added super power charge. <laughs> Elaine, come to our show. <laughs> yes, I really had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, and it is earlier in the day, in well, in the afternoon, and you've taken this time out. Thank you. 
Um, okay, let's start with questions. How much yeah. has voice casting changed logistically, i.e. your workflow, and creatively, the creative trends, if at all, due to the effects of COVID on our society, businesses, and advertising industry? Gosh. <laughs> Huge question. Basically, question. how has it changed? <laughs> yeah, how has it changed? Well, you know, technology has played a huge role uh, in the workflow since COVID and uh, continues to. So um, Source Connect, which a lot of people already had, and Zoom, which was fairly new at the beginning of COVID, you know, those are tools I still use every day. Mm -hmm. And um it's made a, it's had a huge impact. And didn't before you didn't use Source Connect or Zoom? Yes, I did use Source Connect for with the okay. people, you know, that had the home studios um, mm -hmm. and there were many at the time. However, with Source Connect, um, you know, with casting in LA, we have so much great uh, talent here that a lot of the talent tended to be, you know, here. I mean, logistically right. here in LA and they needed to be in Santa Monica at Tuesday, you know, Tuesday at two o'clock. So yeah. you know, that's where we cast. Um, and then occasionally we cast in New York also. And then occasionally we cast across, you know, the country, but mainly in, in major markets. So, you know, when COVID hit and everybody scrambled and we had the lockdown, everybody scrambled to get um, Source Connect and get a home studio who didn't have one, um, that just opened things up immensely. And um, so now, you know, my casting is really all over the country. It's, it's um, you know, even uh, including actors around the world. So um, wow. that's made a, a really big difference. I still cast through my trusted agents and managers and, you know, my, my trusted resources, but it's, right. you know, it's all broadened out so much because of the technology that we can use now. Um, Do you think it'll ever go back? You know, yeah, like, is that, well, you can't get the toothpaste back into the tube. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, that's a good way to put it. I, I don't think so much for commercials. You know, I think animation is still kind of localized. Yeah. I think people love to be in the same room and the way they work off of each other. And that's, you know, an ensemble cast. But um, I think for commercials, you know, we've gotten very used to doing it this way. And a yeah. lot of producers that are coming up now, this is all they know the last right. two years. This is how they've learned to do it. This is what they expect. So right. I didn't even think yeah. about that. Right. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So generally speaking, what do you look for in an audition? What all these auditions. An audition. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's an excellent question. Um so you know I'm listening for someone to sound and you know we use the word authentic probably too much, but I want them to sound like this is coming from them. It's being filtered through their own experience, their heart, their mind, their um, life experience. And so, and, and maybe some thoughtfulness is going into it um, rather than I'm reading this slickly and it's, on, and then I'm on to the next audition. I want that. I want to hear that they've processed it. Okay. Um, you know, I would say we're yeah. listening for three things. We're listening for believable do I actually believe this person knows what they're talking about? Um, I'm looking for relatable. Do we like them? Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm listening for unique. Hmm. You know? And so, and that uniqueness just comes from just really being yourself and going through the process and, and um, wow. you know, being, being in the moment with the, with the copy. And I, I think that that's the main thing that I'm listening for something that's you know, that stands out, that's not like every other person. Because sometimes there's an obvious way to read it. And sometimes people, you know, re a lot of auditions will be the, in that obvious realm. And, you know, I'm often looking for something that's just a little bit different, you know, something that that moves me. <laughs> yeah, it's scary to take a choice. It is to take a chance on something yeah. you know. You know, the client is probably ultimately going to go with the safer route, but it's scary to make take a chance when you submit an audition to a casting director. Yeah, um, I always, I always find myself straddling that line. Yeah, um, do I take but a chance you, here or yeah. do I? Go with you know, I think you do take a chance. And I've been telling people lately, especially because there's so many auditions, you know, that we're listening yeah. to. I've been saying, put the chancy one first. Mm. Put the one that stands up. Put the that. safer one second. Mm. Um, and that's 
that's been working for people. And um, I think because we're just listening to so many auditions and the truth is what you do in the audition may not really resemble what ends up on the air. You know, we've all been through that process where it really, you know, changes, but, but your job is to, to win the audition and get into that session. And so you do have to stand out, you know, so I think being a little quirky, you know, is fun. I, I like it personally, especially if it's a comedic spot. I think you really have license to to play it up as long as you keep the copy. You, you don't want to change the copy, right. but you want to just show us that you really get it mm -hmm. and you're having fun with it. And, you know, and that brings the unique factor in. Exactly. Okay, well, that was gold and we're done. <laughs> no, that well, was what, you, what you shared is um, relate, uh, believable, relatable, unique. I think those are great words to describe authentic. You know, this authentic word is everyone wants to, well, it's believable, relatable, and unique right there. Yeah. And that's huge for our viewers and listeners because that really is a secret. You're, we're talking right now to, to the person that knows. I mean, come on, Elaine right? has all the time. <laughs> so my, like all the time, like every minute of the day, if she's not coaching. So, exactly. I gotta go. No, I'm just so kidding. I know <laughs> we, we won't keep you too long. No, no, no. Um, so one of our questions to you was as an LA casting director, you've maintained a VO coaching business over the years. And what yeah. is it that appeals to you about coaching talent? Really? Tell us. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. I love working with the talent. You know, here's the thing in the auditions, even if the auditions are in person, we don't have that luxury of time to really collaborate, you know, and really get into the creativity of the spot. So we do that in coaching, whether it's private coaching or, or workshops, um, it's just great to have that time to explore the copy together, discover new ways to deliver it. Um, so you guys know, my goal is always to kind of open up the possibilities um, um, and, and bring some, you know, encourage you to take some risks so that your auditions will be more interesting. And you, when you have your audition, wherever that will be, you know, you'll bring that. And um, so, you know, yeah, I love, you know, there's nothing I love more than hearing from my students that they book something right after we work together, you know, right. that's right. really, uh, it, yeah, it's great. Very, very re rewarding. <laughs> very <laughs> grateful that you coach because- Someone who can coach that's actually working is very helpful to us. Well, uh, that's what got me like into it. People saying to me, you know, we're not getting the feedback we used to get because the whole process has changed. Mm. So we want, you know, are you oh. offering coaching? And, you know, and also looking for that kind of point of view of someone who is, you know, doing this every day. Right. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so I'm thrilled. Yeah, it's been it's been really fun. I I love that. It's so it's fun. a bit of a respite That'll in your day. Like it's just changing gears. Well, it and is. Well, yeah. And it's face to face time. You know, when we're yeah. coaching, it's yeah. you know everything else is a lot of emails, right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know, it's just fun to just it, it's fun. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I threw this question out to you, and you and and we back and forth a bit with it, and so huh? I don't want to pressure you. Oh, what? No. Oh, the I just want to know about online casting and to our viewers and oh. listeners. Elaine does not do online casting, no online casting, use online casting, but it's a big part of our our um income now, Elaine. Like there's a lot yeah. of work and um there's a lot of people for and against and it's very uh, yeah. polarizing. Right. But there's a lot of work. So as a in, incredibly smart businesswoman and casting director, <laughs> what are your thoughts about online casting just in general? I'm just I am you know. I am curious. And there's no wrong answer. Yeah. Like you can yeah. hate it. You can be in that camp and we will still worship you, you the way we do. Well, you know, I don't hate it because I honestly I don't use it. I really need to cast through my trusted sources. Of course. Um, I get concerned with the online pay to play, you know, uh, sites because there are some great people on there mm -hmm. and there are some people that have a credit card and a demo tape that mm -hmm. they made at home. And so, right. so I can't take that chance in casting. I, I, need, I need to, you know, those people need to be vetted before they get to me. Okay. That's so. a waste of your time to hear people that aren't really ready to work in your well, life. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And I, and I have talked to producers who have used it and they said, you know, the results were mixed. They heard right. some some really good people, 
um, mm -hmm. top, you know, professionals. And then they heard a lot of, you know, bad auditions. Yeah. And so, and then they had to sift through all that. Yeah. So, you know, that's, right. so that's from the casting point of view, from the actor's point of view, you know, I've heard, like you say, you know, some, some people love it. They get steady work. Some people say I never work at all. Some people don't want to do it. Because they don't like the pay to play aspect of it. Here's what I say, you know, uh, it just from the performer's point of view, you know, voiceover is extremely competitive. So, you know, no matter where a, a voice actor is putting up their demo in hopes of auditioning, you know, one, make sure that you're really ready as yes. you started to talk about, um, mm -hmm. make sure you have the proper training, make yep. sure that somebody who knows has told you, yes, you are ready to do this. And mm -hmm. then of course you have, your studio has to be ready as well. So there's a lot to it it looks fun and easy you know be right but, but it's not you know so right. um and then too i'd say you know make sure that you're knowledgeable about the rates what is fair mm -hmm. um and and um for the usage pay attention how are they going to use it if it says in perpetuity mm, red light you know right and then three is um make sure you know the terms of the payment just like all of us you know are business people it's like make sure you know who is paying you and when and how and get all that established up front and in writing if you can because you know there's nothing worse than being a freelance person having to you know chase after the money right it takes a lot of time, time. No, yeah, i was just gonna yeah. say no one has time for that nobody has time for that you know so right those are my thoughts on that, if that answers. It totally does. A revelatory, oh, yeah. Yeah. gorgeous. These answers are amazing. I, got, uh, I know. I know. For, yeah. I mean, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know, this I know. last yeah. question is like impossible, but I know you have an opinion. Sharing Probably. your wisdom about the, what the future might hold for the voiceover industry, but really creatively, I want to hear, because you talked about it before with me. So we're post-COVID. We're post, you know. We're all yeah. together in this. What is the tone or intentions that you think we're doing now or going into now in terms of engaging listeners? You mean the trends? The, the trends. trends, the trends, the how do we deliver? How do we, yeah, okay. So I think that, you know, we, as, as talent and as a casting director, I just have to go with what the copy suggests. Sure. You know? mm -hmm. I think, you know, there's not like a blanket, this is the trend right now. How you know, I think that, the future in general, I think, is really bright for voiceover right now. I think there's going to be more and more opportunities in mm -hmm. online social media because there's new and emerging platforms and brands know they can't serve up the same thing to the TikTok platform as they can to, yeah. to, to, you know, Facebook or whomever. So, um, you know, so, so it's different. It's not one size fits all social media marketing anymore. And so, um, you know, that's great. So brand, so there'll be more and more voiceover opportunities for that, um, in commercially. And then, um, you know, other forms of entertainment, I think there's going to be, um, you know, more animation for like, say, you know, Netflix, mm -hmm. Disney, uh, Amazon prime, all of those platforms, I think, Right. animation's really popular right now so mm -hmm. there's just gonna be more of that and um more video games being produced and just more 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 and i think you know we have the metaverse whatever that's going to bring oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> we don't know yet right right so yeah so you know lots of potential opportunities you know as all these platforms emerge and expand and you know i think it's an exciting time for voiceover mm. That's yeah. very encouraging. Isn't that nice, Kim? Yes, yes. I think everyone's going to be very happy to hear that. Well, yeah. I, I, yeah. And I know, you know, there's slow times. There's, there's, there's July, you know. <laughs> and, and Tell me worry. about it. No, no, it's true. No, it's right. really true. And you just, you know, I've been doing this so many years that I just know that there's up times and there's down times. And if I'm slow, everyone's slow. And then all right. of a sudden it's going to hit on a Tuesday <laughs> and we're going to be overwhelmed again and go, why didn't I take that vacation when I had the time, you know? Right. So yeah, it's, it's cool. cyclical that it'll be back. Thank you so much. There's Thank a you. mantra that Kim and I use that we learned from Andy Roth. He's in casting as well. He's in New York, but he also coaches a little bit. And the reason he has this mantra is because in the moment when you're auditioning, he wants you to be present and authentic and awesome now so kim and i say fuck it let's be awesome now we've because got shit we've to got go. shit to do this episode of speechless is brought to you by 